right, number nine. Here's some Monday morning inspiration vintage photos of people working out through the years. Ooh. Ugh. Remember those days, Robin? No, I'm looking at a bigger touches. feet. Look at this. Oh, look at her. I miss the good old days when they were afraid our uteruses would fall out if we did any exercise. <laughs> yeah. Then I wouldn't have that to worry to her. about it. That was a real concern. And then I have to, wouldn't have to feel guilty. Have fun. Thanks. Just in the park, yeah. dancing. Yeah. All right, number eight. While we're uh, stepping back in time, here's an old picture of train travel from the 1950s when people dressed to fly or to hop on a train. The bar carts were more like actual bars, and people thought nothing of lighting up a cigarette and smoking it right there in their seat, you see. I got a light for you, see? <laughs> Where do you want to go next, Santa Fe? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, boy. All right. All right, number seven, if you identify the most with Carrie from Sex and the oh, City yeah. uh, in the reboot, you might have main character syndrome. Oh. God. It's what a popular term on TikTok, and it's used to describe self-centered people. Uh-oh. Main character energy means you think the people in your life are there strictly to support you. Oh, brother. Yeah. According to personality scientists, yeah. everything is about you and your problems. Yeah. You have a carefully crafted online persona right. and often post pictures of yourself doing a variety of activities to create your own narrative Check. as if you are starring in your own movie <laughs> or TV show. Yeah. Well, is there something wrong with that or is it just an observation? I, don't, I think that's for all of you to pass your own judgment. Sure. I'm just right. here to deliver the information. That's I'm here to, we you know me, you. I'm not a guy who's yeah. opinionated on a yeah. lot of things. No. I try, I'm like Switzerland, I'm very yeah. neutral. That's why we trust you yeah. for all the important news of the day. Who's the biggest narcissist in the Weather Center? Oh, it's got to be Skilly, dude. I mean, without a doubt. <laughs> always yeah, doing the selfies. It's all about him. Yeah, selfies. Yeah. Always selfies. Always the selfies. The TikToks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The TikTok that he does, if he yeah. put half of the energy he puts into the weather and he does the TikTok, <laughs> he could make something up. I himself. like when he does his boomerangs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, those he are puts that fun. skirt on. Yeah. With all the yeah, he's great at those. Yeah, he is. All right, enough about him. Let's move on. Number six, check out this underwater waterfall in the Indian Ocean. It's in Mauritius, or Mauritius, however you want to pronounce it. And it's not actually a waterfall. It's an optical illusion. Ooh. Oh. How about that? The sand and the silt deposits make it appear as though there's a big drop off. Huh. But there really isn't one. Hmm. What do you know about that? It's just about the color of the water. And it's, a different, uh, it's different depending on the ground beneath it. So hmm. some areas appear to be deeper than others. That's not really true. Huh. Just cool to look at. But a great excuse to play one of my all-time favorite songs. Oh, Video? Oh, I, I remember it, yeah. yeah. All right, number five, are you a screen dipper? You might be one and not even know it, and it could be ruining your relationship. Oh. Screen dipping is the act of dipping into your phone. Okay. You're watching a movie with your family, but yep. you keep dipping out to check your emails or Instagram. You're technically in the room with people, but you're checking mm -hmm. out your phone every so often. Well, that's really Something we all do, or at least most of us do. But relationship scientists say it sends a bad message to your significant other that you don't care enough to stay engaged with them. They say the more you dip, the more you push them away. Feels so good. next time, keep the phone in the next room, especially if it's too tempting, if it's right there mm. in front of you. Right. It'd be helpful also the, if, if all of us that were in relationship, if they could tighten up the conversations a little bit, yeah. right? Like they keep you more engaged. A story can be told in five seconds. It doesn't need five yeah. minutes, and True. that will solve the problem for a lot of people. All right, number four, here's a great last-minute gift idea inspired by our co-worker, Kasha. A mini desk fridge. Whether you work at home or you're in the office, the mini fridge keeps your pop nice and cold, or your waters, or even a small snack. $40. Lots of huh. colors. Huh. Then you have some, you don't have to mix it with the other pedestrians in the newsroom. Yeah. Their Good idea. Old tuna and whatever else, some of that stuff uh, in there. Yeah. We don't even yeah. know what it is, Paul. Right. Well, this could be a downside. <coughs> a lot of people start doing this. Suddenly the corporate refrigerator becomes less interesting. Yeah, yeah. that's true. And that's one of our segments. Yeah. All right, number three, last week I told you my list of things to know before popping the question. 
I got to thinking about things to do. If you do pop the question, like try a potluck wedding. It's an idea I found while I was scouring blogs the other night. The idea is to make your big day more homey and more intimate. And you ask your family and friends to bring their favorite dishes like fried chicken and casseroles. The only thing is you need someone to organize it all. So you know who's bringing the appetizers and the side dishes and the desserts. And uh, you don't want to have two of the same thing or not enough of everything. So this whole potluck idea is something that the millennials seem yeah. to like because they don't want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on the food, but they also know they need food at their weddings. So it's another way to get someone else to pay for it. I got to tell you, I didn't think I could love weddings more. But now preparing and bringing my own food to one <laughs> yeah. is well, really just going to celebrate. Yeah. Right, yeah. if I want to give eat, up I your Saturday. Yeah. yeah, give up your Friday night Fun. making it yeah. and then bring it on Saturday. That's all blast. Now, wait, did you, you gave tips for popping the question? Oh, I missed this. Yeah. Well, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. Yeah, Anything really useful. Any useful takeaways in a nutshell? Uh, you feel free to use your no. Like, don't yeah. just because don't pressured. he's on his knees and your whole family is there planning it out. Ah. If you're not 100%, just say, hey, nice idea, but get up. I'm not marrying you. I'm not <laughs> really table, interested in that kind of foolish. You got to use your voice, right? Too many marriages, people have just kind of so got So do you think that there's a lot of people that go into that not think, knowing what the answer is going to be from the so. other person? I think so. Or they're, they're yeah. kind of banking on that. Ah, maybe it'll turn out. Yeah. It's not going to turn out 50% of the time. Oh, Feel free to say no. Hey, thanks. You're, you seem nice. Yeah. But no. The other thing is wait for all four seasons to pass before right. you Absolutely. try any funny business there. Because you don't know. Fall is my crazy. best season. Yeah, right. you got to wait till you see right. people you in all their You maybe wanted a dumper in you know, summer, <laughs> but then wait it out to fall. Maybe you find some redeeming turtleneck that you're like, ah, yeah. maybe we can make it through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you had to tune in. Okay. Wow, it was great. thank you. It was, it was very good. good. I'd say it's online, useful. but it never made it online. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, number two. We're looking at ways to deal with annoying relatives this holiday season. Uh, here's one scenario. All right, your, your aunt or your aunt asks, so when are you going to settle down? Uh, it's a trigger to be sure whether you're in a relationship or not. Family scientists say, to be honest with there your you relative. Are. Even candid. Yeah. Let her know exactly how you feel about settling down. Right, speak the truth. Whether you're for it or against it, speak your truth and let her know that if and when you feel like it, you'll let her know when you have something more to share. Nothing wrong with the truth. It can be said in love. Be yeah, but a lot of times that can extend the conversation uh, I don't want to be in. Yeah. So you just, yes, yeah. mm -hmm. agree with them and then right. yeah. keep her moving. And to know your audience. All right, number one, let's take a look back at Dean Martin's holiday special, the year 1968. It's a time to play. It's a whipped cream day. I wait for it to hold you around. Although the marshmallow clouds be friendly in the arms of the evergreen tree. And the sun is red like a pumpkin head. It shines so your nose won't freeze. All the world is your snowball. See how it grows. See how it goes. It looks like the cigarette is just a prop. They said that, you know, you know, he used to drink in his show all the time. He never drank alcohol on the set. Uh, oh. It was always something else. This was yeah. kind of special for a big deal. This is where Frank Sinatra came out on one of these, didn't he? So, yeah. Let's see how it plays out. Maybe he really gets in the second verse. Terrible. Did he do these every year? Or is this like a one and done? Maybe just one. One? I don't think, yeah. I don't think he did it every year. But he had that show, right? He had a whole yep. show? Yep. Who else is on the special? Mike Dom DeLuise? Dom DeLuise, the Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. Oh, yes, yeah, of course. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, that was nice and friendly. Yeah. Nine at nine. It's just nine at nine.